Hello everybody, I'm Chad Cass, I'm from Acoustic Sounds, and uh, we've had quite a week here with the uh, live streaming of Kinda Blue with Michael Fremer, Mike Hobson, Bernie Grunman, uh, Michael Ludwig, and then after that, we that was we were talking about the you know the technical, the mastering, the master tapes, the three track tapes, you know how it just can't get any better, and it's very rare to have Mike Hobson and Bernie Grunman talk about what they did in 1997. Anyway, it was very exciting, lots of views, selling tons of kind of blue. Then we like, well, how can what can we do to make this uh, better? Well, let's talk to the musicians and get that musical perspective from some of the masters that played with Miles Davis and wrote the book on Miles Davis, like uh, Vince from the Miles Davis estate, who's uh, Miles Davis' nephew, also played drums with Miles Davis. Uh, Ashley Kahn, who wrote the book on Miles Davis, and uh, Ron Carter, who played with Miles Davis for many years. So that was really exciting. Everybody loved it and was very happy. So we're trying to do th fun things. We're trying to show y'all how everything is done, how, how the music is made and the LPs are produced. And uh, so we have another fun, friendly, hopefully y'all will enjoy this on 45 RPMs that, you know, that are limited to, or what we're putting on is some of these albums like have one song on the entire side of the disc and many times the songs are really really good songs so i'll start with this one leonard skinner pronounced leonard skinner free bar free bird gets its own side okay so there's no competition for the the space on the side of the groove. It cannot get better than this. If you want to hear Free Bird, the best it can ever be, it's on a 45 cut. It's got the whole entire side just to the one cut. It's like a nine minute or a very long cut. I guess the only way you could get better is to play the absolute master tape. So this Free Birds gets its own side. 45 RPM, awesome. Scheherazade has four movements. Each movement gets its own side. One of the most accessible classical records. Great sounding, accessible, great music. Um, one of the top selling classical albums. On the 45, this gets its own side. Herbie Hancock, Headhunters. Chameleon gets its own side, the first song, the great song. Watermelon Man gets its own side. Sly gets its own side. And Vein Meter gets its own side. So there's four songs on this album, they all get their own side. Killer, blow you away, promise you. Dave Brubeck, Time Out. Well, guess which song gets its own side? Take Five gets its own side on this record. The drums are so dynamic, they will knock your in the dirt, okay? So Take 5 gets its own side. And then uh, Side 1 has two songs. Side 2 is Take 5 by itself. Side 3 has two songs and Side 4 has two songs. So this is unbelievable. Anybody ever try to beat what Bernie did on this off the original three-track tape, they will never do it. This, there will never be a better timeout than this right here. Awesome. Here's another one, four songs, four sides. Each side has got a song, and each song has got a side. And the first song is Mood Indigo, second song is Sophisticated Lady, third, The Tattooed Bride, and fourth, Solitude. This 
is an awesome release, recorded in 1950. Hardly anything that's been recorded since then till now can beat the sound of a 19, this 1950 recording. I mean, we've sold more of this than T for the Tillerman. Think about that for a moment. So people caught on to this. People know about it. We got some Nuge. Um, he's a wild, crazy man. Some people don't like his politics. I don't listen to politics, man. I listen to music. Stranglehold will blow your ass away, okay? I mean, it's a, like a nine, ten minute song. It's awesome. Again, Ted Nugent, Stranglehold, got its own side. What a good song to have its own side on 45 RPM pressed at quality record pressings. Beethoven Sixth. There's five movements on this. The first movement gets its own side. The second movement gets its own side. The third movement gets its own side. And the fourth movement has two, two short movements on it. Beethoven with Bruno Walter. It's one of the most ex accessible classical records ever. Great sound. Awesome. Beach Boys Holland. We cut, it's a thir we, we, we put this out at 33, but we put on one side, Sail On, Sail On, Sailor, by itself as a 45. Awesome. Beach Boys Holland. Sail on, sail on, sailor gets its own side at 45. Here's another great album, A Meeting by the River with Ry Cooter. There's four songs. They each get their own side. Unbelievable. Like It's like they made this record to be cut at 45. First song, 10 minutes. Second song, 12 minutes. Third song, 10 minutes. Fourth song, 7 minutes. The most pure, natural recording you'll ever hear. Ry Cooter, Meeting by the River. Here's another one. Stevie Ray, Couldn't Stand the Weather. Um, we put uh, Tin Pan Alley, The Roughest Place in Town, on its own side. It will blow you away. Sonically, musically, unbelievable. I've yet to A, B it against the, uh, the one step, but uh, I would bet my house that this thing sounds better. And I've heard a couple of reviewers have told me what they thought, but they don't want to, they don't want to start, uh, they don't want to talk about it. So anyway, couldn't stand the weather, Tin Pan Alley. Sometimes on the album, the label, it's called The Roughest Place in Town. It's the same song, just named two different names, but the real name is Tin Pen Alley. It's got its own side. It will blow you away. Now I'm going to talk about 12-inch uh, singles. We got Mid Midnight Rider on one side and These Days on the other. Greg Allman. Midnight Rider and These Days from the album Laid Back. Hardly any songs better than Midnight Rider. The sound of this is awesome. It's got its own side. It will, will blow you away. Here's another great, um, it's got, it's Cannonball Adderley with Autumn Leaves on one side and Allison's Uncle on the other from the album um, Something Else, Cannonball Adderley. Now, this one's hard to get, but if you can get it, get it, because it hardly gets better than Louis Armstrong doing St. James Infirmary. I mean, he's in the room. It's bluesy. It's spooky. It's eerie. It's, it's Louis Armstrong at his absolute best, sonically, musically, and the other side's got I Ain't Got Nobody. Right now, it's out of print. I'd say... 
if somebody played me this record and they told me it was $200, I'd give them $250 and thank them. That's how awesome this record is. Those people that were, you know, buy from us when we bring things out at the beginning, there's a lot of people that have this that are enjoying it. I wish, I wish we had more. Uh, I'm not trying to tease you. I'm just, I'm doing a, a 45 list of things that, songs that sound incredible, that's got their own side, that cannot be bettered. And this is one of them. Just happens to be out of print. But if you can, if you see one, get it. Now the Big Daddy, Miles Davis Kind of Blue, UHQR 45. Now we haven't pressed it yet. Everybody wants to know when we're going to press it. Um, the answer is we're not sure. We got 19,000 more records to press on a hand-built manual press. One at a time, we make about 300 a day. So we don't have a date, we're sorry. It will come out. But, So What's got its own side. Side two has Freddie Freeloader and Blue and Green, so that is the only side that has two songs. Side three, all blues by itself. Side four, Flamenco Sketches. So three out of the four sides got their own side, and side two has got two songs. So this is the highest quality jacket that money can buy from Stoughton with beautiful photos. If you notice on the back, this is the clearest picture of Miles Davis on the back. You can get the original. You can get every, there's only one issue that has a picture as clear as this on it. The mono from Sony, the picture is clearer, clear, clear as this. Every other release of uh, Kind of Blue, the, this picture is very faded. So the highest quality jacket, this is textured with gold foil, raised lettering, leatherette dowel, and uh, so, yeah, we just wanted to show you some of the uh, 45 RPMs where, the, where there was a real famous song that had its own side on 45. And uh, it just can't get any better than that, you know. Um, and we just thought that would be a fun video. Again, we want to thank you all for the support of Acoustic Sounds. Please understand that what's going on right now is just crazy. Uh, it's hard to get things back on the press. We would love to get Love Supreme back on the press, but it's hard to, to put that in front of a new release. Um, we're trying our best. I know everybody's frustrated. We're frustrated too. Uh, we're happy about what's going on, but there's some growing pains. You know, I keep urging people to buy the records when they first come out. That way, uh, they don't go, you know, you get it before they go up in value or worse, before it's, it takes a year before it gets pressed again. Now, I mean, as far as, you know, I hear people talking about flippers and this and that. I mean, and I don't want to, you know, preach too much, but I mean, it's just... It's just the way business works, you know, that there it's supply and demand. They uh want to invest their money in records and, and they want to speculate on the market. You know, it just really can't be stopped. I mean, we, we limited it to three per customer. We also increased it to twenty-five thousand uh to try to make sure everybody that wanted one can get one. Um, you know, we can't control it any more than that and uh it's just the way things work you know people speculate and invest money they do it in everything and uh can't stop it it's supply and demand all i can do is urge y'all to buy it when it first comes out and like my favorite saying you know buy now or cry later and you know we'll have a lot of friends that call me hey chad did you save me one? Oh man you know you know, and I'm like, there's just so many times I can go in the rabbit's hat and pull out a record that I that I held for, you know, and uh, 
these are all my friends and I appreciate them and I love them, but my better friends order when it comes out. <laughs> so please, all I'm doing is trying to encourage you, if you see something you want, buy it. If you don't want it, don't, you know, don't buy it. But if you want it, buy it. And uh, again, we appreciate the support. Uh, things, there's so much stuff around the corner. There's so much fun that we're going to have in the next few years. You know, I wish we could put these things out faster. Wish I could share the information that I know with you. Um, you know, one of the reasons I can is, you know, people will be excited and they'll email, when's it coming, when's it coming, when's it coming. Um, anyway, thank you so much for supporting Acoustic Sounds and uh, look forward to the, the, the years to come, man. There will be some fun. Thank you very much. <laughs>